Okay. So Mihai, this is my this is my work, uh, and my main interest and my main focus is looking at nuclear envelope proteins. Okay. So nuclear envelope is really really important for the for the structure of the of the nucleus uh, because these proteins all merge together and they link the the cytoskeleton to the to the genes and the heterochromatin. And when these when these proteins in the nuclear envelope are disrupted, then they can lead to aging diseases. And what we've actually found is that there's a, a very special protein called prelamin A, which is toxic, which drives premature aging. And we found that in hearts of people, and we've and we've modelled that in mice. And what we found is that you have uh, you have uh, an inflammation and an aging phenotype in the cardiac tissue. So we've essentially discovered that you can have inflammation in the in the in the heart. Uh, and we think that this this protein, uh, prelamin A. Uh, which drives senescence uh, uh, might be really important in this process and we're currently trying to do lots of work to discover what the drivers of this prelamin A expression is, whether this could be mutations or by drugs or by ageing. And so all our future work is focused on, on working out the scenarios uh, in, in human tissues in which this occurs. So inflammaging it's a new term? Inflammaging cardiomyopathy. I, I, I I've, like I've coined it. This is how you speak human to other <laughs> So yes, that can lead to an inflammaging cardiomyopathy. And I see that uh, you are the only poster with a Twitter address. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. You can, you can find me on Twitter, at Dr. Dan Brayson. <laughs> Thank you very much. Great Thanks, work. Mihai. Thanks for listening. And I'm expecting a clinical outcome. Uh, well, interestingly, um, the, w w one of the things that we're working on is, um, is that we think that prelamin A might accumulate in HIV cardiomyopathy because HIV patients have these drugs, uh, HIV protease inhibitors, which inhibit the enzyme uh, which exclusively mediates cleavage of this prelamin A to its mature form in its less toxic form. Um, uh, and interestingly, uh, Basic, well, basically, uh, there are a number of inhibitors, HIV protease inhibitors, which do inhibit phase one, and there are a couple which don't inhibit phase one. So, if you had this scenario occur occurring in the human, you could quite, you could quite easily see how that might be translated to the clinic in I terms of, in, ter in terms of deciding which are the best drugs to treat these patients yes, because with. Because you have like three to four choices, and you you will give us the best choice in a specific scenario. Yeah, for sure. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Just work on it. I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best. Okay. Do more than your best. <laughs> Do the impossible. <laughs>